Hello everyone, thanks for watching, welcome to another video of mine and today we'll be going through perspective drawings, perspective drawings and these are a couple multiple choice questions but first of all I'm going to go through what a perspective drawing is so you have a brief understanding of what I'm about to go through, okay? Alright, so what is the meaning of perspective drawing? perspective or what is a perspective is what gives a three-dimensional feeling to a flat image okay so if you have a flat image such as a drawing or painting um, perspective is a viewpoint or your viewpoint for example um, in a three-dimensional way okay and these two examples and if you look on the left I will pull up my um, laser pointer um, you will see a flat image okay so this one compared to the one on the right is a completely flat image where the buildings all you can see is one side of the buildings okay um, on the right side though this is a perspective drawing so this is what you will see um, in real life and it is a depiction on a piece of paper of um, what you would see in real life okay so it's a 3d image um, converted from a flat image okay such as a drawing or painting all right so now that you know um, I'm gonna show you the different types of perspective drawings um, these are the mostly used you have other um, types of perspective but um, you have one point perspective and this one point perspective has a vanishing point so as you can see you have the objects and as you go back they get smaller and smaller until you reach a point okay and that point is called a vanishing point the line that comes across is called the horizon line or the horizontal line and this is the line that um is in line with your eyesight okay so this is what you're seeing if you look out at the ocean and you see the horizon um, it looks as if the horizon is straight in line with your eyesight okay so this is depicted on a paper as the horizontal line or the horizon line okay and this is the vanishing point where the objects will um, become smaller and smaller okay so the types of perspective drawings are the one point perspective you have two points where there are two vanishing points one on the left side and one on the left the right side so the objects that you see right here they are getting smaller from the largest point and then they get smaller going to vanishing point number one and going to vanishing point number two um, comparison to the um, one point perspective the one point everything is going towards one point in the two point um, the two sides of the object are going in different um, directions okay the two vanishing points in the three points as you can see you have three vanishing points now you have two on each side and one below okay so that gives you um, a different look to the 3d drawing okay so that's basically um, perspectives in a nutshell okay all right so the first question says um, two-point perspective is also known as and the two-point perspective as we as I showed you just a while ago which is the one in the middle um, it is also called angular perspective okay because um, the object itself are at different angles or at um, various angles so it can be called either an angular or a two-point perspective okay and this has been used um, a long time ago so if you hear the name angular perspective they are talking about um, two-point perspective okay all right 
Um, number two says this is the intersection of the ground plane with the picture plane and i'm going to explain to you what the ground plane is and the picture plane is okay a the vanishing point b the ground line c the station point or d the horizon so this is the intersection where they cross over so the point where the ground plane crosses over with the picture plane is what okay all right so components of a perspective um these are the parts of a perspective which gives you um the drawing remember we spoke about the vanishing point so this one has one vanishing point and the picture plane is where you're going to draw um the perspective drawing okay and the object goes from large right down to the um the vanishing point to its smallest point um you who are looking at the drawing you are the spectator so um you will be standing on a on a ground plane so a ground plane you will be standing so these two pictures um give you um different but the same illustrations on the intersection between the ground plane and the picture plane so here you have the image plane which is also the picture plane and image is a picture and so you have the image plane intersecting or coming down to meet the ground plane which is this part here ground plane which is this part here intersecting the picture plane all right so once they intersect it will be the ground line that causes the intersection so the intersection will be called the ground line okay and you can see here that the options is um the ground line the vanishing point the station point and the horizon so the intersection will be the ground line okay so the next thing question says in perspective drawings this is placed between the observer and the object what is placed between the observer and the object itself the object is what you will be looking at okay is it a the vanishing point or the horizon is it b the station point the station point is where you stand you are standing is it c is the ground line and we spoke about the ground line just now or uh, is it D, the plane of projection or the picture plane, which we spoke about also, okay? All right. So, um, again, I will show you the, um, the plane, the ground line is right here, which intersects the picture plane and the, the ground plane. And um, you also have um, the object, which is behind the picture plane or the picture that is going to be drawn on the picture plane okay so right here you see the guy standing here this is called the station point this is the station point where the spectator is or where the human is he will be looking onto the picture plane he will be looking onto the picture plane right here and then the object which is the object that goes to the vanishing point um, that will be on the picture plane and it it will be shown as a perspective drawing okay so what is between the object and the observer would be the picture plane itself okay or the plane of projection all right so this would be the answer okay all right number four says <clears throat> when positioning this feature of per perspective projection the center line of the cone of visual rays should be directed towards the approximate center of the object. What feature? Um, so basically they are saying when positioning this feature, you need to put it in the right position so that um, when you're looking at the object, um, the rays should be at the center of the object. So I'm going to show you an illustration of what um, the question is asking all right 
so right here you have the station point as we mentioned in the previous question um the human or the the guy would be standing at the station point and he or she would have a cone of reference a cone of reference is the where your eyes will be looking at okay so you cannot see around you 360 degrees there are certain amount of um area or ref or circumference that you can see when you look forward at something so this cone of reference um the line the center line needs to be at the center of the object and as you can see here the guy is looking here and this circle is the cone of vision where he can see outside the cone of vision he won't be able to see anything so the center line should be at the center of the cone of vision okay at the center of the cone of vision so when the question asks when positioning this feature the answer would be the station point because the station point needs to be positioned in the right um, place so that the center line is in the center of the cone of vision okay all right the next question says perspective drawings are classified according to the number of these features okay so what features would you say differentiate each perspective um each type of perspective from each other and i mentioned it um earlier up and it would be the vanishing points because if you have a one point perspective how many vanishing points would it have one if you have two point it would have two vanishing points three point three vanishing points you even have four and five point perspectives okay so um in order to differentiate or to classify um, perspective drawings you look at the vanishing points okay all right and as it says here this is the point at infinity where the length the breadth and the height of an object would vanish okay and it gets smaller and smaller as you go further back all right okay so these are some technical terms that's it for the questions these are some technical terms that i think you should take with you and these are the explanations the station point and this is the point from where the observer looks at the object he's standing there he's looking at the object the picture plane is the plane which the picture of the object forms so this that that was the vertical picture coming down or the vertical plane coming down the horizontal plane and um, this plane is parallel to the earth and in eye, in line with the eye of the observer so the horizontal plane is similar to the horizon so if you look out into the ocean you see a line coming across that is your horizontal plane and the ground plane is the point where the object starts if the object is resting on the ground the largest part of the object because remember it's um, getting smaller and smaller as you go back so the furthest the closest part of the object would be on the ground plane and then it would go back and back and back and back okay all right and then um, you have the ground line this is the intersection between as we answered it earlier inter intersection between the ground plane and the picture plane okay so thanks for watching those were the questions and i hope you understood a brief presentation on perspective drawings um if you haven't subscribed to the channel i'll be releasing um, lots more videos and hit the like button if you understood if you did not understand and you want to ask a question um, put it in the comments below and uh, I will see you on the next video, okay? Alright, take care. Bye.